Hi, I'm Stephanie from AWS, and this is Introduction to Gas Metal Arc Welding, better known as MIG Welding. Remember, when welding, ensure you're in a safe environment utilizing the correct PPE. The first step is to load a spool of wire into the machine. Then run the wire through the drive rollers, pull the trigger on the gun, and pull the trigger until the wire comes out the tip of the liner. The parts of the MIG gun are our TIG torch or TIG handle, the trigger, which is going to send the wire through the lead and create the arc, the neck, the gas diffuser for gas, the contact tip, and our MIG nozzle. Today we're going to be welding carbon steel. The wire I selected was ER70S-3. This is a very common wire, but depending on your application, you may want to refer to AWS A5.18. Shielded gas metal arc welding is going to require shielding gas. The gas that I'm going to be using is a mixed gas with 75% argon, 25% CO2. When you're ready to strike your arc, you're going to take your MIG torch and set it in a 90 degree work angle. Then set your travel angle at about 15 to 20 degrees. Then you're ready to pull the trigger and progress through your bead. There are two ways to complete a shielded gas metal arc weld, and that is drag and push. Either way, you're gonna have a work angle of 90 degrees and a travel angle of 15 to 20 degrees. Before you start, attach the work clamp and be sure to open your gas all the way and adjust your regulator. Though welding on this 3 16th steel doesn't show much difference between the two methods, if you're welding with a WPS or a welding procedure specification, it will specify which direction of travel you need to use. Three common mistakes that you might make are running your bead too fast, too much stick out, and forgetting to turn the gas on. If you're running too fast, your bead is gonna have this cone-like appearance and be very narrow. To correct that, you're gonna need to slow down. Make sure that the weld is consistently sized for the entire length of the bead. If your stick out is too long, your bead is gonna be very high in appearance, doesn't look like you have much fusion to the base material, and lots and lots of spatter. One way to fix excessive stick out is ensuring that your contact tip to work distance is between 3 16 and 1 quarter inch. Now, when welding, if your bead starts to look like it's got holes and craters all in it and lots of brown debris everywhere, that's because you probably forgot to turn the gas on or insufficient flow rate. To correct that, check your gas regulator before welding. If you've checked your regulator and flow meter and you're still having a gas issue, check your nozzle. If it's full of spatter, clean it out and get back to welding. Because remember, practice makes perfect. 